Okay, the next portion of your activity this week is to go ahead and take your current index and create a hyperlink to your newly created instructional design menu. And then from your instructional design menu, create a hyperlink to the before shot of your portfolio. So there's three little things here that we've got to get done. The third thing being saving everything and uploading it. So let me go ahead and start with the current portfolio. I'm going to double click and open that up. And over here, of course, we've got elective spaces. So I'm going to go ahead and put in um, 621 instructional design. And because this is, course isn't truly going to have a midterm final, and you do have um, a um, menu, I'm going to put in the phrase activities. Now I know some of you have already successfully gotten past this. So if you used a different phrase, then don't worry about changing that at this time. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. I do want to hyperlink it to this index here, the, the index that's part of my SGET 621. So I'm going to go ahead and there's multiple ways to do it. I'm going to browse for that file. I'm going to double click into my 621. There's that index piece. I'm going to click OK. And of course I'm going to save it. And I am essentially done with that file. Now I can go ahead and upload that if I wanted to, but I do need to create a hyperlink from this index as part of the 621 to that portfolio. So let me go ahead and do that super quick, open that up. And here I've got some placeholder pieces. And of course these are just silly little things that will go away at a later point. But I can go ahead and uh, type in portfolio, the phrase before portfolio. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. And as any kind of link, when I hyperlink it, I can do it multiple ways. But I must highlight or select the text or image that I want to make into the hyperlink. I'm going to come over here to my Browse for File. I'm going to double click into my module portfolio because that's no, where I saved it. Click on my Before File. Click OK. I'm going to save it. Save everything there. Now. I have made two significant changes. I've made a change in this index and I've made a change in this index. So my final step is to go ahead and upload it. And of course if I haven't previously uploaded the SGET 621 folder as an entirety, I want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and upload that little uh, file as well. And then I should be able to show you yes, that it is working in. And of course once I upload a file or once I, I start development and I've got this in the window opened here, I can take a look and I see obviously that I don't see the newly created pieces. And for uh, many of us that would create panic, but if you guys recollect what you learned back in the brain is that you do need to refresh, which is pressing F5 on your keyboard to get the latest and greatest changes. I can see that my date timestamp is correct. I've now got instructional design and my little activities. If I click on my activities, I come up to my page and lo and behold, here's that link. And if I click on before portfolio, I should get a snapshot of my portfolio. And that is the end of your web design work for the week.